Hi guys, uh, this is Frankie from MyWindowsPhoneStory.com and today I want to show you guys something that's actually really hard to show on a camera. Uh, I don't know why I chose to do a video on this, but um, this is something I was really blown away by. So when I first picked up the phone, uh, you know, everyone's talking about this super AMOLED screen and you're, you know, I had no clue what they were talking about. They were, they were talking about how awesome it was, uh, but it's really something that's hard to see or understand uh, until you actually play with a uh, device with a Super AMOLED screen uh, first hand. But I'm going to try, or at least attempt to, uh, show you guys what a, what a Super AMOLED screen offers. Um, maybe it'll give you a little bit more insight. So, um, the first thing that I noticed was the viewing angle. Um, uh, normally look at the, the phone like this, and uh, uh, easy, uh, easy to read. Um, but you don't normally think about uh, looking at the phone sideways, not sideways, but kind of at a different angle. Like, so if you look at the phone at an angle like I am right now, uh, it's still perfectly visible. The only thing obviously blinding it is that, that light. Um, but essentially, you don't lose any of the color and uh, everything remains perfectly clear and visible even at like a really crazy angle like this 170 degrees or 180 degrees. Um, and I thought that was really cool. So, I mean, you know, I don't know, maybe you have a few people crowded around you and they all want to see what you have on your screen. Maybe you're playing a game. Um, they can all see it because it looks perfectly cool from all sides. Um, and so, you know, when I con contrast that with my iPhone, it doesn't, like, it doesn't do that. So, uh, it looks fine normally like this, but as soon as you tilt it, the color totally washes out. Uh, and you get a screen that's kind of, you, you, you definitely can see it, but it's, uh, the colors aren't there. Uh, it just doesn't look as good as when you turn a Super AMOLED screen sideways. I don't know, it's, uh, it's, hard, to sh it's hard to show, I know. Um, so that's one viewing angle. Number two, I also noticed that the colors look really cool. Like, um, the black is, it's like really dark blacks. I, I don't know how they do it. Um, but if I was looking at the phone, uh, when you first pick it up, so if you lock, if you put on the lock screen, you can definitely tell where the screen ends. Uh, obviously, it's right there, you know, around to the top, etc. Um, but when you unlock it and you're on a screen like this, you can see where it ends because it's cutting off the tiles. But if you scroll to the top, you have no clue where it, where the screen ends because the blacks blend right into the bezel. Um, unless here you go, unless you're in direct light where you can see where the screen starts and ends, like right there. But normally, you have no clue. Uh, I thought that was like a super cool thing where you couldn't even, you know, everything just kind of blends in just because the colors are uh, are so saturated and so uh, vivid. So that's the other thing I thought was really cool. The two things that probably matter most uh, to the people. Actually, there's another thing. Uh, in sunlight, I find that the Super AMOLED screen is actually easier to see also. And apparently it also uses less power. Uh, some stuff under the covers that I don't know that much about, but... Um, yeah, so there you have it. That's a little bit about how Super AMOLED screen looks. I know the Blackberry is terrible. This, as soon as you tilt it, there you go. It's like all gray. Uh, it's got this like weird, uh, weird, weird color thing on top. See, it looks all gray. You tilt it, and the colors come back in. Um, so yeah, example. There you go. That's uh, my Samsung Focus. Thanks for watching.